All right, y'all, so something that you probably would never expect from me, and that is that this year, one of my goals is to actually help my neighbor dominate me. And I've already started that by getting his mowing under control, which you'll see some videos coming out about that real soon. But in the meantime, what I really need to do is get this lawn jump started, get it looking good. Now we have some fertilizer blackouts coming up here in another couple, two, three weeks. So we got one chance to get some fertilizer down to get this greened up. And of course, you guys know where I'm gonna go. I'm going with my old buddy, Melorganite. So over the years, Melorganite's become very popular. And in fact, people, they don't even realize that it's just a fertilizer. In fact, you'll see people, they'll say, well, hey, it's time for me to go and Melorganite my lawn. When really what they're saying is, it's time to fertilize my lawn because that's what Melorganite is. It's a natural fertilizer here. In fact, this stands for a Milwaukee Organic Nitrogen. That's what Melorganite stands for. And the thing about it is it has an analysis of 640. So let me talk just a little bit about what's in here and why and, and how we're gonna put it down. And then we're gonna go and actually put some pounds on the ground. And then uh, in a couple, two, three days later, we'll come back and show you the results. All right, I wanna show you something. And you can do this with any bag of fertilizer. This is so you can kind of understand what you're getting, how far it'll go and all that. So over here, you're gonna see three numbers. And you'll see these three numbers on any bag of fertilizer. They're gonna be a little bit different. This one is a 640. That, that stands for the analysis. It means 6% nitrogen, 4% phosphorus, and 0% potassium. There's also some iron in here. But those are the three macros, and that's kind of cool. But what we really want to understand is, you know, how much of this do we have to put down and what are we going to get out of it? So the next thing you need to look at is here is the weight of the bag. And again, this is going to be on any fertilizer. It's a good step to do here just to understand more about what you're doing. So it's a 32 pound bag and you can see over here, the coverage is 2,500, but I live in Florida and it says Florida 5,200. So in Florida, that this bag should cover 5,200 square feet. Okay. 500, 5,200 and it's 30 two pounds. Now that we have that bit of math, we can understand how much of this product we need to put on each 1,000 square feet. Because if you guys remember, I've told you in lawn care, everything is broken into 1,000 square foot increments. So we take our calculator out here and we're going to take the 32 pounds, 32 divided by 5.2, which is the coverage, 5,200, and we're going to get 6.15. So that tells me that the rate for me in Florida is 6.15 pounds for every 1,000 square feet of lawn area. That's called my application rate, 6.15 pounds. And again, this bag will cover 5,200 square feet. So that's kind of interesting. Now, another thing you can do is you can take that six, remember this analysis down here, 640? We can take that 6.15 and multiply that times 0.06, because that stands for 6%, right? And we'll understand how much nitrogen we're actually gonna get in this application. So 6.15 times 0.06, because remember 0.06 is 6%, 0 0.36. So in this application of Melorganite, we're gonna get 0.36 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. That's what that is. So not quite half a pound. So we're gonna see what kind of results we're gonna get before and after with this lighter Florida application of Melorganite. With that, let's go and throw her down and hope for the best. Now, I know this math and all that can be a little bit confusing. Uh, if you want to learn a little bit more, I encourage you to join my email list. It's free. I'll give you a link in the description below. That's where we kind of explore a lot more of these numbers and the why behind things just to help you make better decisions and get better results out of your applications. Now, with that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the spreader we're going to use and we're going to try something a little different that we never tried before. All right, so as far as spreaders go, you guys know I typically like to use this here, the Earthway 2600A plus 40 pound hopper, nice and round, nice and easy to see. But this is a new one, well not new, I mean a new to me, that I wanted to check out. This is the Earthway 2050P. And this, look at this bad dog, comes fully assembled. If you remember, the uh, this one here, the 2600A, I had to do, took about an hour to assemble it, not too bad. But this bad dog comes fully assembled, 80 pound hopper. It does have the side spread control. And uh, yeah, let's give this a shot, see how this one does, and uh, throw it down. All right, now before I throw down, I need to understand how much square footage I'm working with here. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure the lawn next. Length times width, just to understand, because remember we know it's 6.15 pounds per thousand square feet, but now I need to know how many thousand square feet I have out here. So I'm gonna just do a quick measurement, and just step it off nice and easy. All right, now before I get locked and loaded, there's one thing that's really bothering me here at these edges. They're overgrown. I need to tighten these up 
and then that will make my application that much better. So hang on one second. All right, so now all these edges are good. I feel a whole lot better. Now I'm gonna get into some crazy math and confuse you. So when I measured this lawn, luck of the, uh, luck of the lawn care nut comes out that without the parkway right there, this front sides and back is exactly 5,200 square feet. Pretty good, right? So I need one full bag. Okay, so when we start talking about spread and furt, the first thing that people are gonna ask me is spreader settings. And I'm just gonna tell you, this is probably the most confusing thing about lawn care, and it's tough for me because I try to be overly thorough, and this is one of those things that it's not a cut and dry thing. And what I say by that is, when you see spreader settings on a bag of fertilizer, that is a general starting point. It is not the law, it is not the King James Bible, this is the only way to do it. It's a starting point. Remember, this is a, one of the best quality spreaders, which I really like this one, by the way, but it's plastic. Everything in here is plastic. It's, it's not even $200. You're not gonna get the same kind of precision with this that you're gonna get with something that you pay $500 or $1,000 for. And let me just show you right now. So the setting for Melorganite for 2,500 square feet of coverage is 19. Let me just show you what that looks like on the spreader. So here we are, there's our openings. You can see right here, I'm on zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and push it out to 19. Now you gotta realize that this spreader, you gotta line up that 19 right there with the edge of that. Now you have this stop here to help you with that when you're doing it. So there we are, we're on 19. Now how does that look? There you go. We could probably call that what, halfway open? But halfway should only be 15, right? So let's look at 15. So here we go. Now we're at 15. That's like what, a, a quarter of the way open? So what I'm trying to say is it's not like logical, like one is closed or zero, right? And then 30 is pretty much wide open. So you would think then that 15 would be halfway open, but that is not the case. When you reset and then you go to 15, remember you gotta look at it over here, 15, well what, quarter of the way? I don't know, is it half? Now you could do this exact same experiment with one you get, and it could be off by an eighth of an inch or so, and you can see why that's gonna mess things up. Doesn't mean the spreader's bad. It's just how things are when it's plastic like that. And if yours is off one eighth of an inch from mine, that's gonna be a difference that is gonna change the setting. So what am I really trying to say here? I'm trying to say, use the spreader setting that's on the bag as a starting point. Now me, I'm not applying on 2,500 square feet. I'm applying to 5,200 square feet. So if I was at 19, you would think, well, Alan, then you should do half of 19, which is uh, what, uh, a, uh, nine and a half. Well, let's look at what nine and a half is. So here we are again. Let's go to, I guess, nine and a half, maybe 10, right? There ain't nothing gonna fall out of that. You're gonna be walking this lawn for hours. So that's what I'm trying to say. These are not logical, right? 19 does 2,500, nine and a half should do 5,200. No, it doesn't work that way. If you wanna know where I ended up with the spreader setting, I actually ended up with the spreader setting like 17, 18, somewhere in here. That's where I ended up with it. And so what am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say that the spreader setting is 19 for 2,500, but I, I used like 17, 18 to do 5,200 on my equipment. I know you're thoroughly confused. You could ask the folks at Melorganite, they're thoroughly confused. I run a fertilizer company, I get thoroughly confused with it too. This is why it's important for you to learn your piece of equipment and measure out your fertilizer, weigh it out, which I'll show you at the end of this video, a quick way to weigh out Melorganite. Weigh it out, understand what the settings on your equipment are and how they work with you. All right, enough confusion. Let's just go and throw her down and hope for the best. Ah, smells like success. All right, for the last piece, remember I said all oh, that's 5,200 out there, but I got these little parkways right here. I'm gonna use this little hand cranker. Got a little stock on it, makes it nice and easy to just project the fur right onto this thin little parkway. So I'll be the finishing touch. <laughs> All 
All right, y'all, so we have advanced now several weeks into the future, and those before and afters, I mean, let's be honest, they don't really show a lot of change, maybe in a couple spots here or there, but for the most part, it doesn't look like it made that much of a difference. And that comes down to that lower use rate, apparently that 0.36 or almost 0.4 pounds of nitrogen from the Lorganite, it's just not enough to really make a big difference. Now you can see the lawn looks a lot greener now, that's because I've done some other things to it, some other remedies, which we'll talk about later. But why is it that Florida is limited to this lower use rate? And by the way, you can only do two applications of Melorganite per year in Florida at that lower rate. And why is that? Well, this is a, something I went into in a little bit greater depth because I've been interested in it. I went into it on my podcast. So I'll give you a link in the description below to a podcast where I talk about that and why some of those limits and some other things that I've been exploring and learning this year and just having fun doing interviews and I don't know, just kind of deepening my knowledge of these things. Now, there's one more thing I did want to show you before we go because Melorganite still does fit into my strategy. It's something I do twice a year as a supplement and I think that you should do. And one of the things that comes with it because of that use rate is measuring out those pounds. So let me give you one more quick little tip here in the end before I let you go. All right, so here is the tip. I've got a measure or a uh, scale right here and I got this cup on here that I've teared off. So I got a zero there. This is a one cup measuring scoop. Now, if you got a measuring cup from your wife's cabinet, you might get a little bit more accurate measurement, but don't tell her you did that. But basically, three cups of melorganite is equal to one pound in weight. So three cups weighs one pound. So the, for those of you that don't wanna weigh stuff out, you don't have, I'm just weighing it out to test it. 1.1, so I'm at 1.1 pounds. That's definitely close enough for government work and for jazz. So there's a little tip for you right there. Three cups of melorganite is one pound. So helps you with your math a little bit, helps you with your measurements. With that, I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Hope this video has been helpful to you. Leave your comments and questions below and I'll see you in the lawn.